Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Dan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Test and Evaluation Master Plan, or what I call a temp. What is a Test and Evaluation Master Plan? The Test and Evaluation Master Plan describes and programs planned test and evaluation activities over a program's life cycle. It also identifies all the evaluation criteria for a system that evaluators must test to. The temp serves as an executive summary and provides a framework within which to generate detailed test and evaluation plans. It documents schedule and resource implications associated with the test and evaluation program. The temp identifies and integrates all of the test and evaluation requirements with the program's acquisition strategy and requirements. What is the purpose of the test and evaluation master plan? The temp is used by the program management office and is the focal point of the development, review, and approval process for detailed test and evaluation plans and activities. The acquisition process requires a temp as one of the primary management strategy documents supporting the decision to start or terminate development efforts. The test and evaluation master plan is meant to provide an overall test management plan within the acquisition strategy bounds. Identify overall test and evaluation activities by the government and system contractor. Guide the development of specific test events and integration of detailed test plans for those activities. Developmental test and evaluation. Operational test and evaluation and live fire test and evaluation activities. And finally, document test and evaluation schedule and resource requirements. When is the test and evaluation master plan due? In the defense acquisition process, a draft is due for the development request for proposal release decision and the final approved temp is due at milestone B. The test and evaluation master plan must integrate test and evaluation with the overall acquisition strategy, reflect the user's requirements and describe how these capability needs will be tested in developmental test and evaluation and operational test and evaluation, document the test and evaluation program for the entire life cycle. Specify personnel, funding, and test range support requirements. And finally, be developed prior to milestone B review and updated before each subsequent program decision review. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Test and Evaluation Master Plan. For more information please visit the webpage to include guides and other documentation. Congratulations of finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.